Hindi naman daw para sa pansariling interes, kaya nauna sa pagpapabakuna ang ilang alkalde na pinagpapaliwanag ngayon ng Department of the Interior and Local Government o DILG. Pero giit ng ahensya, kahit para sabihin gusto lang nilang manghikayat, eh dapat pa rin daw nasunod ang listahan ng prioridad. At yan po ang tinutukan ni Mariz Umay. Nag-issue na ng show cause order ang DILG para pagpaliwanagin si Natakloban Leyte Mayor Alfred Romualdez, Tibuli, South Cotabato Mayor Dibut Tuan, Santo Niño, South Cotabato Mayor Sulpicio Villalobos, Legazpi Albay Mayor Noel Rosal, at Bataraza Palawan Mayor Abraham Iba. Ang mga opisyal na ito, kasama kasing nagpaturok sa mga bakunang nakalaan dapat sa mga healthcare worker. Meron kami nakita ng paglabag nila sa mga batas o administrative orders. No? Don't jump the gun. You will have your own time that you will be vaccinated ahead of the rest of the country. So huwag kayong magmamadali na magpabakuna. Huwag tayong mambraso. Oras na matanggap ang show cause order. Mayroong tatlong araw ang mga alkalde para maisumite ang kanilang sagot. Kapag hindi sila makapagbigay ng tugon, ay mga ngahulugan daw na wave na nila ang karapatan nilang magpaliwanag. At sa karaw magdedesisyon ng DILG ng susunod na legal na hakbang basa sa ebidensyang hawak nito. Kinumpirma ni Tacloban City Mayor Romualdez na nagpapakuna siya ng Sinovac nito March 22. Pero hindi raw para sa pasariling interes, kundi para mahikayat ang iba pang healthcare worker na magpapakuna rin. Pero sabi ng DILG, Hindi po excuse yung, uh, yung influencer siya kasi napag-usapan na namin yan sa vaccination cluster ng malalim. No? Na gusto natin sana ang influencers gaya ng mga mayors and governors and other uh, officials of the government. Kaya lang gusto natin sundin Ang, uh, sta- ang priority listing standard ng World Health Organization. Dahil sasi ito ay uh, libre at uh, galing sa COVAX facility pa sa mga na bansa. We confirm that Mayor Alfred Romantes has been inoculated with the Sinovac vaccine. The vaccine was administered under the protocols of the Department of Health. The mayor understands the sensitivities of the general public, in particular the national audience. However, that Mayor Romualdez selfishly put health workers and his constituents' welfare aside by skipping the line is far from the truth. Taken against the backdrop of the existing distrust and loss of confidence brought about by the Dingvaksha issue, which was further exacerbated by the overblown yet unfounded concerns questioning the efficacy and safety of the Chinese vaccine, Sinovac, we would like to state for the record that Mayor Rivaldez volunteered to be publicly vaccinated with the Sinovac vaccine in order to boost confidence in the vaccination program of the government. At the time the vaccination was done, health workers were hesitant to avail of Sinovac, opting to instead to pass and wait for other Western-made brands. All this much ado about something that was well-intentioned merely results in the breaking down of the confidence in the vaccination program of the government and in the vaccines. The mayor, as the local chief executive, has the duty and responsibility first to his constituents to ensure that programs of the government are executed in the most efficient and effective manner. His vaccination with the Sinovac to encourage more people to avail of the Sinovac is consistent with his sworn duty. Moreover, he did not bump off anyone in the order to priority or to prioritize himself or to cause advan- disadvantage to health workers. Since there was a resistance to inoculate with Sinovac and Dusty, he was qualified to be vaccinated as an LGO official. Finally, the mayor calls on unity in the face of adversity. As a seasoned chief executive, he knows there will always be naysayers and those critical of his actions. But Mayor Romualdez has time and again demonstrated his sincere dedication to the city and its constituency. He will do what must be done to promote and protect the interest of the people of Tacloban who have elected him to office. We hope people can set aside negativity and contribute gainfully towards ending this pandemic by increasing confidence in the vaccination program and the vaccines instead of eroding the public's trust and engaging in premature politicking.
it was really not my plan to even get uh, vaccinated or to receive that vaccine. In fact, it was going even against the advice of my doctors in Manila because of some uncertainty. And when I checked, bakit sila kinakabahan, it's because it is based on what they hear and see on TV, the news, etc. Which I feel, you know, there is a bigger concern. Ang concern ko, alam natin na malaking solusyon sa problema natin talaga itong vaccination, itong vaccine. Pero alam ko rin na marami sa atin ay natatakot. This is what we saw. It really breaks my heart when NCR announced that lahat ng mga sobrang vaccine ibabalik sa NCR. Pakakala natin dito sa Tacloban, wala tayong problema. It is only a question of time that our numbers are likely to increase positive dito sa Tacloban. Being a highly urbanized city, gateway to Eastern Visayas. And this is my fear. We have a solution. The solution was given to us by the national government. Our frontliners must be vaccinated. But it pains me to hear that many of them, about 60% only, nagpabakuna. Tapos lahat ito is a solid sa national government kasi natatakot sila. Okay? Sa totoo lang, pati si Dr. Agro, yung head na ng City Health Office, inintay muna niya mabakuna ako. Kaya nandun doon siya, pinapanood niya ako. O, marami nang sasabi, hindi ako sumunod ng protocol, bakit wala akong mask. Sa totoo lang, pinatanggal yung mask ko kasi gusto nila makita yung labi ko if it will turn blue, lack of oxygen daw. And what happens? If we are hit again by a surge, upsurge sa pandemic na to, sino na ang mga frontliners makukuha ko kung hindi sila nang papapaksin? Itong laban na to matagal to eh. Isang taon na pinaglalaban pa natin. Eh kung humaba pa to. Kaya sabi ko, gamitin ang vaccine, it is additional protection. But let me remind you, if you think I took the vaccine so that I can save myself or my life. Let me remind you, one of the most dangerous lives to live is a life of a mayor. I think you've seen that. Ilan na bang namatay na mayor? Pwede ako sa mamatay sa iba-ibang bagay na mas higit pa na kailangan ingatan ko kaysa ito. And also, second, for me, whether it's made in China, vaccine, What's good for the Filipino people is good for me. Many have told me, yes, I can afford, I can wait, I can get the better vaccine, etc., etc. But kung ano yung bibigay sa inyo, sinabi ko naman yan sa inyo noon pa, na akong unang susubo para sa inyo. Kaya, ako'y pumunta dito para ipakita sa inyo, I'm okay. Okay. And if one person like me can convince a thousand, I will do it. Okay? So, on the doctor's advice, they were not too happy. But now, nagulat ako eh. Pati city health officer ko, ito si Dr. Aglo, biglang nagtuwa nung nakita niya, nakakalakad ako, normal ako. Kaya nagpapakuna siya one hour after. E paano naman natin sasabihin sa mga kasama natin dito sa city government, ng mga frontliners at lahat, sige, babako na. Kayo mayor, at saka na. E buti kong iniisip yan. Dahil I'm humble, baka iniisip nila, syempre, pe-play safe ito. Gusto muna niya makita ano mangyari sa amin, pakatapos saka siya kung babako na. Kaya ako, I'm willing to face the consequences, but I am very happy that at least 99% of our people, the frontliners, are now availing of that vaccine. It will help. It is not a 100% solution, but we need anything that can help. Why? Because I don't want to 
experience the same problem they're having in NCR. Sa NCR, kapit sila sa patalim. They have to open their economy. It's down. How can you do that with the rising cases of COVID? Tayo, matuto na tayo dyan. Kaya sinasabi ko, mga taklobano, intindihin nyo, tayo. Huwag na tayo makihalubilo at let's not be too opinionated anymore sa IAPF, sa lahat yan. Ayusin ninyo, sarili ninyo. Don't expect the government to fix this problem for you. You yourselves, discipline yourselves, ayusin nyo mga sarili nyo and let's not be a burden anymore to NCR. Para makatulong naman tayo. Marami dyan, aalis, galing NCR, pupunta dito. Pantayan natin, tulungan natin. Ayusin natin. But I need more manpower. That's why I'm happy that habang marami ng papabakuna, I expect mas marami na ngayon ang volunteers ko. At marami talaga pwede ko ilagay sa front line. Na at least may protection sila. Okay? Ako kasama sa trabaho yan. I've been swapped already more than five times. Na-close contact ako ilang beses. Kaya nung pumunta si Presidente dito, I was not able to attend because na-close contact ako kay Congressman. But I've been tested negative. 